In this video, we deploy an app using Hugging Face Spaces and Gradio. Hey there, welcome to Learn OpenCV. Last week, we understood how to build computer vision applications. Today, let's see how to deploy one. By the end of this video, you'll be able to deploy your model and run inference on both images and videos. Hugging Face Spaces is a collaborative page on the Hugging Face website to deploy and showcase machine learning projects. It allows anyone to effortlessly host their projects, making them instantly accessible to the public. Hugging Face offers basic and upgrade CPU spaces and competitively priced GPU spaces. However, this is just a space. To manage the application's front-end and enable user interaction, we require Gradio. Gradio provides a straightforward and intuitive method to build front-end user interfaces for machine learning and deep learning applications. A few weeks ago, we explored how to fine-tune the YOLO V8 Ultralytics models over the Pothole dataset. Check out the video if you have not seen it. We'll be deploying the fine-tuned model to Hugging Face Spaces step by step. Let's kick things off by creating a brand new space. Think of a catchy name and pick a license of your choice. For our app, we'll go with Pothole Detector and select the MIT license and select Gradio SDK for our front end. We also have an option of Streamlit and Docker. Feel free to leave a comment if you're interested in learning about other deployments. We will be using the basic CPU space. It comes with two vCPUs and 16 GBs of RAM. And finally, create the space. Now use this command to clone the space onto your local system and change directory to the cloned space. We need three files for our deployment. app.py script that contains all the logic for image and video inference, requirements.txt file that lists all the packages required for our space, and .git ignore, which ensures we do not push unnecessary files to the space. Requirements.txt will be the same as YOLO V8 requirements, so we'll take that from Ultralytics. We don't want to push the model files, media files, and Gradio cache. The same will be put in the .kidignore file. Now let's take a look at app.py script. You can think of it as an inference script with extra steps. We start by importing all the libraries. Gradio is used for the inference. OpenCV is used to read the image and drawing bounding boxes on it. Requests is used to download the files and OS is used for paths. Then, we need some sample media files to run the demo on. We download these files using the download file function using the command requests.get. This code snippet downloads all the sample data. Next, we initialize the model and the input paths. The input paths will be used during prediction. The function showpreds_image runs YOLO inference and annotates the predictions over the images. It will read the image using OpenCV and run prediction using the fine-tuned model. Then it draws rectangle on the image using OpenCV and returns an RGB image. The next lines of code are specific to the Gradio. We create two Gradio image component, one for input and the other for output. The input type is file path and the output type is numpy array. Then we create the Gradio interface. It calls the function showpreds image whenever we hit submit on the front end. It inputs and outputs the Gradio image components, the components which you initialize right above this code. The function also accepts a title to display on the interface, some sample images to quickly run the demo on, and we have the option to cache the examples. Similarly, we run inference on video. The function showpredsVideo accepts the video path and runs prediction for every frame of the video. It then yields the annotated frame to the interface. The input component is Gradio Video component and output is Gradio Image component. Finally, the Gradio interface brings everything together. To bring both the image and the video interface together, we will render both of them as a tabbed interface. Tabbed interface accept the interfaces and the tab names as Python lists input. To top it off, we queue the video interfaces since we cannot run them in parallel and finally launch the app. 
Once all our three files are in place, git add, git commit and git push everything to the space. It might prompt you for your Hugging Face credentials. At last, we will upload the model file directly to Hugging Face Spaces. Alternatively, it can also be pushed to the space using git LFS. Whenever we push any commit to the space, it will build the app. This may take some time. Let's see our web app in action. So that's how you deploy models and applications to Hugging Face Spaces using Gradio. If you like this video, why don't you check out the logic behind creating an application and try deploying it yourself. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.